What's happening? Hello world. Welcome to your 8th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a database schema using SQL Server Management Studio as well as using T-SQL. And to start off, I just want to give you a little background to help you briefly understand schemas. So, a database is the primary container of all objects. Schemas, though, on the other hand, offer another level of containment and organization within a database. Using a schema, a user can group objects of similar scope or ownership together. By default, the database owner, DBO, schema is automatically created within a database. Any object that is created is added to this schema. You can change this behavior in a couple of ways, as I'll be showing you. So, to get started, go ahead and connect to an instance of SQL Server, and you should see what I see right here. If this, if you, this is your first tutorial, you should go back and watch tutorials 1 through 7. If not, uh, if you don't have time for that for whatever reason, you're going to want to go to start. Well, I have it right up there, but all programs. SQL Server 2012 and go to Management Studio and connect to an instance. And once you're connected, I want you to go to the databases folder right here. Expand this guy. And then we're going to be going to this database that I had you create a few tutorials back. My first database. We're going to expand this guy. We're going to go down here to Security. Gonna expand that guy. Then we're going here to schemas. We're gonna right click schema, new schema. Let's give it a name. How about marketing? And then we're gonna put DBO for database owner. And then we are going to click OK, and that's how easy it is. See, this this whole database management stuff isn't that hard, is it? Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing but using a T-SQL script. Okay, and to do that, I'm going to go up to my new query button here and click on that. And then I'm going to paste in this code right here. Use my database too. That was that second database I had you create a few tutorials back. We're going to be creating the marketing schema and the human resources schema. Then click execute. Commands completed successfully. There you go. You can uh, take note of that script, copy it down, save it for yourself. So if you need to make schemas real fast in the future, you know how to do so. And just uh, as a note, as a best practice, practice uh, blah, 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 try to create all schemas prior to creating tables. But that might not always be possible, so you can always move a table or any other object from one to another using the alter schema transfer statement. So that's all caps, alter schema transfer. Something to take note of, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial on how to create schemas using SQL Server Management Studio and T-SQL. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below on my YouTube page here. And as always, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. See you in the next tutorial.